Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a new Spin Tires Metronome video. Today we're playing on the um, World Country map, which is this map. If I can zoom out real quick, there we go. Um, so it is pretty well cloaked, can't see much. And we'll be playing with the Spun Jeep M715. Uh, Acer lock jammer if I'm correct gonna check that real quick yes that is correct so that's the vehicle we will be using today which you can also see here in front of us and uh, we'll be basically exploring the map seeing what's all about and I think that's a pretty good plan so let's check out the uh, attachments real quick. So we got a field kitchen, field kitchen, which is standard in the game. This as well, this as well. Also, this as well. This is custom, so we can carry logs, as it looks like. Uh, utility pad. So this adds 100 liters of fuel. Uh, carries. 1000 repair points and 4 garage points so that's actually pretty nice so that's enough for unlocking uh, a whole garage it looks like you can carry locks in it as well but no that's really the place for it a bit empty though so I thought that may that's maybe the case um, there's also a trailer generator which is also standard in the game or this one might actually be custom but I think it's standard in the game and we also got utility trailer and the rest are some bugged out uh, attachments which I still don't know why they're there I think it's because of some mod I installed but uh, I think I'm gonna go with this because I think this looks pretty red if I'm honest and uh, I don't know, we can carry this around, but it doesn't really have a use for it, so I'm not going to do that, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, yeah, so I think that will be fine. Next up, we're going to set a waypoint to this watch point, as it looks like we'll end up there uh, if we follow this road. Which I think is the smartest because I don't know if there is an option to the right. So let's do that for now. Okay. Uh, let's start this baby up. I like it that we have uh, dual wheels uh, on each side on the back. It's actually pretty nice. But we're on the road. I can turn down my headset a bit, that's much better, otherwise I'm getting deep. And right off the bat, this truck actually drives really well. What do we have there? Oh, we have a fuel station. That is handy because we only have 200 liters. I have to turn that to 50 right now. I can actually also uh, put some more fuel into our attachment, so I'm gonna definitely take advantage of that. You never know how big this map is and uh, how much you will consume. That's always the guess. Alright, uh, let's fill it up. There we go, that's extra 100 liters of fuel. And we're gonna see where we end up if we follow this path. I think we'll end up on the main road in a second. Yes, we do. So we are continuing to drive on this road. I'll take a nice free shot if I have the opportunity to do so. I like that one. There we go. Uh, we are coming here on a bit of a wider part of road. Let's see. Don't think there's too much special going on here, but you never know. 
And I can already tell you right off the bat, this vehicle is a beast at off-roading. I mean, look at how easy it goes through the mud. I get nothing. That's all in third gear. Most people should have to shift back to the second or first, otherwise it will stall and stuff. But this one just goes through it in third gear easily, like it's nothing. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Also, let's take a quick look in the cap. Okay, so we've got a working steering wheel, we've got some gauges right there, which aren't working sadly enough. But I've already said that countless amounts of times. And it probably won't be possible for mothers to do that. Because I don't even think uh, trucks in the base game do have the feature. Alright, we're gonna go a bit on the right here. Gives us a bit more speed. Still track. Always try to avoid deep mud when possible. If not, then just deal with it. If you can go a bit to the right, that will help always a bit. Oh damn. And look at what I found here. So this is actually a uh, broken down bridge. And I'm actually happy I saw that in time. Because I nearly missed it. And uh, you never know. Maybe I drove into it. Then we are stuck right there, like the other truck as well. Not a good place to be in. Oh, we can get through the water really easy as well. Uh, let's try and see if we can actually drive this truck here. Or just a, um, it might be just a, uh, how do you call it again? A uh, object can't really drive, so they put in the model of the truck. Sometimes they do that stuff. Let's see. Oh, and you can actually drive it, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna back it up a bit. I'm gonna attach a winch. And there we go. It is out of fuel, but I think if we release it now, this on its wheels. Okay, so it's actually better than uh, it being on its side. Not that I'm planning to use it, but you never know. It does have no fuel anymore though, so I'm not gonna waste my fuel on it. But um, yeah, if we have really the need for it, we can always come back, refuel that thing up, and then we can use it. Okay, so I've got to go to the left, otherwise I'm going too far away from our watch point we're looking for. So let's not forget that. Or I already almost forgot about it and uh, went the other way. Oh, I would you look at that, there's another vehicle. I think that one is a uh, object though, or it might be one which is drivable, but it doesn't look like it is. Oh well, it might be actually, because it says on the map it is. Okay, pleasant surprise right there. But I'm not gonna bother too much with that one as well. Still have this one fully working. So why change it if they broke? Probably heard about that once or twice. I just need to. And some little trail right here. I hope this leads us up to the uh, objective we're looking for. But I'm not quite sure yet. Always can be a little. Uh, how do you say that? I don't know how to say it. Sometimes you may take a trail. You think you're going right, and then it turns out you're going the completely 
wrong way. I think we kind of did that here as well. Oh, 75 damage from pretty much a little bump, so welcome to the spin tires physics. The not so great physics. Or at least they are great physics, but the damage model isn't that great because you get stupid stuff like this. And I promise you, you won't get very happy about stuff like that happening because sometimes it can uh, wreck your vehicle and then you're like, okay, there goes my vehicle. But we uh, got the first watch point out of the way. Nice, nice. Okay, um, I think we're gonna go back, back onto this road, and then go to the next watch point. Because here we won't find too much according to the map. So we're gonna listen to it for once. Go for it first again. But we go won't get stuck in here. Because if we do, then we're not in a so great spot to be in. Because it's very hard to reach. We're still doing fine, luckily enough. So that tree on time. Now we're humping the tree. Great. Last thing I was not looking for. Uh, still humping a tree. God damn it. Gotta watch out with those trees though. Because if you go too far up like I just did, sometimes you can roll on your side. Which isn't really too great. Uh, to bring it back into you because then you're stuck as well. I'm gonna follow this little path, and I think we should end up at the road again. Is this the road we're looking for? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm gonna back it up because otherwise, I won't be able to make my turn, I think. It's a pretty big turning circle, so that's why. I like how there's a chainsaw in the back laying around and it's not getting out of it. I'm sure if you do that in real life, you're gonna go on trails like this, then your chainsaw is definitely gonna fall out of the back. It's uh, apparently super glued to the bed of the truck. about 100 meters left before we are at our destination and I can already see the fuel station so that means we're close because we, uh, that watch point was also really close to the fuel station so we're on the right track and I think we can already see it in the distance yes there it is a bit in the forest so, I think the uh, maker of the map really wanted you to go search for the, for the uh, watch points, not make it too easy, which I quite like. Keeps the fun of it. Oh, damn. And this is what I mean with those uh, damage physics, because I was really driving that fast, and boom, all of a sudden, you get four, uh, 300 uh, damage points. Which is quite annoying. Oh god damn it. It's also getting hot in my room. Oh hit it. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to install my uh, DIY fans again. Because it's getting hot again. 
sun in real life. Which I don't really mind too much, but when doing stuff like this, it's can be pretty annoying. And sometimes I'm here like I'm um, sweating to death. I'm try going, going for that forest again because it clearly isn't really working as I planned to. Let's take oh, then there's another 77 damage on top of that 300. And we're already um, over half of the damage points we struck and take, so that's not that great. And already even more. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, we're finally here. Just made it alive, luckily enough. I think we had 1000 carriage po uh, repair points, so we're gonna use those, or at least most of it, right now. So we can at least go on and not. Uh, Crash to death in a second. So where are we gonna go now? So we already explored this part. And I see there's another watch point here, so let's do that. Go follow this road, <coughs> and then once we're in the main road, then we should take a left. So right here. I think it was the first left possible we had to take. So it would be here. It might be the next one as well. I'm gonna go with the second one because I think that one gives us more options. Oh, and here is that vehicle. Uh, the field truck, which we saw earlier on. So I'm gonna watch out for that, as we don't uh, rush into that like that one did. There's some real tricky stuff right here. Let's see if we can make it. Pretty deep in the mud here. They were floating. Just winch a bit. Make sure we don't roll onto our side. Don't want that happening. I'll take a sip of water. Okay, that feels better. Uh, let's back it up. Make this turn. I was too late. Oh, and I don't think we will be coming very far going this way. Nope. We'll just go back to the uh, other turn, which we decided not to take. So, it might have been <laughs> actually the better option, since it doesn't matter that much. It only avoids the uh, big drop down. Which we just had to uh, avoid. And I'm not so very uh, comfortable way. So we're gonna go to the left here. And first turn to the left, which I see uh, I'm gonna take. sound good but we only got 19 damage luckily enough it really sounds like it was much more okay so we are in a swamp area and we can get through this pretty easy it's also a nice spot for screenshots nice uh, to turn to uh, make sure my 
second monitor didn't go off. Uh, where do we go now? To the left. Alright, so it's in the swamp. Already saw it. I'm gonna make sure we don't go for the deep parts of the water. Otherwise we'll probably not get out of it that easy. Again, get through this arrow, and this looks like that's a great idea to do. Uh, let's go to the right. And it looks like it ends here as well. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to find another way. This might be the way to go, though. Following this, and there is the land again. And then we should be able to get to the watch point pretty easily. I'll go here to the left. Deep nut over here. Really deep. I'm just struck struggling with it. But we managed to get through it. Okay, there we go. That's another watch point out of the way. Uh, I guess we're gonna go to this one. Okay, 9004 order. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back on the main road and then I'm gonna follow that to see where we end up. Okay, so I'm gonna go left to go to the right. Oh, let's get back on the land before we get to the and screw ourselves over. Don't want that happening. Should be the main road if I'm correct. Yes, it is. And now it's just a matter of going straight. Let's see if we can get into fourth here. All right, and fifth. Okay, that's actually possible as well. Some vehicles actually have had a lot of them. I don't even use half of the gears because of the terrain. But this one you actually do luckily enough. I always like that when uh, you actually use the gears you have available. But this might be a dead end. I hope not. Oh, it doesn't look like it. What was some kind of U-turn? And what is there. Oh, it looks like it's another fuel station. Let's go pay a visit. Nice. Okay, it's 24 meters refueled. Uh, can we go straight? Nope, because there is a first, I think. Just keep following this road. Even though we're going further and further away from the uh, objective, but it looks like this turn will lead us up to it again. Yes, as I already suspected. I'll go to the right. Put the deep water right there. Goes to the left again. I really like this map. It's definitely different from uh, other maps. It's also pretty fun to drive on. Not for or anything, 
not extremely hard. Just a nice casual net. It's also very big, so I like that as well. Okay, so let's go hill, uh, uh, down the hill. That didn't sound great. <laughs> Turns out it isn't actually that great. Quite a bit of damage. I can really see that. Oh, and I see our objective. Now I'm gonna know how I get down there. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do it like this. Oh, damn. Really lucky with that action right there. Really shouldn't have done that. But we made it. Um, let's put a waypoint to this watch point. So I'm gonna have to back up, get up there, and follow the road. Make sure we don't fall down this. And I wonder if this is the road which we were supposed to get back up on. Uh, is there any winch point? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Of course not. I'm gonna have to back it up. I'm gonna watch out. I don't want to go too far down. Left, back on the road. There we go. Uh, I guess we're just gonna follow this road. Let's see if we go right, though. Yes, this is the road we need. I think at least. <clears throat> Keep going. <clears throat> and we are gonna go to the left here. came from. I'm not too sure. Oh, we came from the right, I think. Now we're gonna go straight. And I can already see the another other new uh, watch point we're looking for. Oh, I'm pretty happy this wasn't deep water. Well, for a sec, I was screwed, but I wasn't. Uh, there's a garage which we can unlock, why not? We got the ability to do so. So let's do that. I'm gonna equip this attachment again because I quite like it. out I'm not screwing myself over on this part where's the carriage go don't see yet oh it's up there I really made it difficult for you to get up here but I'm happy this vehicle actually does it with ease. So that's already a bit of uh, time saving right there. But I guarantee you, if you do it with any uh, normal uh, vehicle, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's put this one again. And we 
gonna go. No. To here. I don't want to do that. Come on. Let me just. Ah. There we go. I want to just use my D pad to walk around. But no. That to limb. I didn't want me to do that. Um. But I won't be doing these two since I don't really feel like doing that. On top of all of the rest I've already done. And it's pretty hot, so <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. Um, yeah, I really like the mob and the vehicle. Both are really nice to play with uh, for the little time I spent with it just now. Uh, but I can assure you you will enjoy it as well. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to give a dislike. Also, make sure to give some uh, constructi constructive criticism down in the comment section down below, or something else if you want to, as long as it isn't negative. Uh, I don't think uh, that is really needed. Um, if you did. If you uh, enjoy these types, of, these types of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, turn on your post notifications as well to stay updated of whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.